Okay, so computer is done. Okay. All right, just kidding here. Let's uh, start disassembling the old case. All right, here we go. This computer is going to turn into Popping out the case. The back of the wire management, I gotta disassemble. It's a lot to do. A lot to do. A lot to do. Alright. Stay tuned. Just about getting there. I have a um, fan cooler to pull out. Actually, I still have the motherboard. Hard drive section. The hard drives are out. Yep. So the motherboard's still in with the CPU cooler because I'm not taking that off the. Uh, I'm not taking the CPU cooler off the motherboard. I'm just pulling everything out at once. So I'll make it easier. And you'll see. I'll just throw the CPU cooler and the motherboard right into the new case. So stay tuned. Doing a little bit of cleaning and then on to it. All right.
All right, let's continue. Take the radiator out. Put these screws here. in so all right guys so as you can see I got the power supply in but uh, I'm gonna take you guys back to when I put that in for you so you can see how I did the power supply and how I did the uh, hard drives and a few other things all right let's get into it cables lots and lots of cables Okay, so what do I have here? Motherboard, CPU. Yep, motherboard, two CPUs, the graphics card cable. And now I do have. Hope these will reach. Some black and red SATA cables. I'm hoping I can use. Um, I'm pretty sure, yep, Seder is right here. So you just plug those in. That side, obviously, the power supply. I think it'll look good with the black and red case. I don't know how many I need. I'm gonna have three, four, five. Yes, I need one more. Because there's four inputs. So I will need one more, which I do not have. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use one of these. No big deal. No big deal. Well, this has three, and this only has two inputs. This has three, so that's okay. I'll put one there. I like to plug these in first. Very careful though you're not. Maybe I'll put it this way. Okay. 
Let's plug all this stuff in real quick. We'll start with the this is the PCI Express from my graphics card 5.0. So let's see. Yep, right here you have two slots for it. I know it's not very good, but work in progress. Right here. Here are your PCI Express and C CPU ports. Here's your motherboard port. And then your SATA ports. Pretty basic. <laughs> so this goes into the graphics card and then this plugs into here. Right there. Simple. And then this is CPU, which I'm going to plug into the other side. And then this that little tab that goes into the motherboard. That little pin goes right here. Just snaps in. And this one is my other red and black, which I do like. It's the same thing. Little pin. Snaps right in. Now the motherboard getting crowded, which is right there. That goes into the motherboard itself, and then these two plug into the power supply, which is here. Here. No? Oh. Just push in and then snap, and then there are all the cables. So let's get that in the case, which isn't too bad. Sort of take it. So slide it in place like so. And then I probably should have got the screws out first, but that's okay. I'll hold it like this, dump the screws in your hands. Once you start one. Magnetic. Come on, stay in there. Should be okay. Okay, we got there. Not too tight. Have to slide it over a smidge. That one to fit right there. Okay. And there she is. Power supply is in. Lines out, huh? Check that out. Perfect. And then. Oh man. I need the brackets. But I have a Sabrent. 2.5 inch SSD and SATA hard drive to desktop 3.5 inch bay bracket. So right there, basically I'm taking my SSD drive 2.5 inch and just putting them into a 3.5 inch enclosure. 
So let me show you exactly what this is. Save the screws for later. It's kind of, it's very, very basic. Very basic, not too difficult. Not too difficult. Don't need this and I don't need that. Okay, real quick, I'll show you. Here it is, All right? And then let me show you how it works. Slide these out. There you have it. <laughs> Pretty basic. Pretty easy to do. Couple of screws. So I got these two SSD drives, be careful, um, from my laptop that I no longer have. So I'm gonna use them in here. For SSDs, and they fit pretty easy. Slide these through here. Easy. This one will have my other ones. I have three more, so technically. I, you want to put this like this. So you want these on the outside, not like this. Because then the end of the SSD is there, so you flip it over. She has holes, but I'll put the hard drives in first. Put it in there, slide it in. card once I put that in.
Okay, come on. Is that going through right here? Okay, I don't have to do that. I could. Doing a little cable management, and it's fun. It is a lot of fun. GeForce RTX 480. Wow. This card is massive. Big. Wow. <laughs> um, let's see. Actually, we'll use that bracket. I will not be using this. Um, the power supply that I got came with the single pin. Adapter. But I will be using this. Um, let's just see how massive this is. There is GeForce RTX 4080. Okay, and here is the GeForce RTX 2060 Super. I mean, huge difference. Huge difference. Okay, so that's the Supra. 2060 Super. Hold on, not done yet. I do have a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. This card is well, technically just a cooler. 
think the card ends right here. Yeah. The card actually ends here. The PCB ends right where my finger is, sort of right there. So actually, the 2080 Ti the PCB is a little bit longer. It's just the cooler is massive. Basically, the cooler is massive. But that's a uh, put in the case. Everything's up and running. 